From the barbed wire to the shoes left behind by those murdered, a chilling experience walking through this three-floor exhibition. It shows not only what evil did, but what hate can do. Called Auschwitz not long ago, not far away. These rooms are filled with more than 700 artifacts and 400 photographs. To me, one of the most moving is a little sock a boy placed in his shoe before entering the gas chambers. He took the sock and he actually put it in the shoe. Very neat, very orderly. And that's the last thing that he ever did. And this luggage. Showed people thought they were going somewhere and they were coming back. The museum's president and CEO Jack Klieger says he hopes this exhibit helps people to remember and teach others. Remembrance of those we lost, those who survived, and education, teaching current and future generations not only what happened, but that it can happen again. Unfortunately, it is in many cases happening again, and that we want to teach future generations that you don't just watch and be a bystander when you see something wrong, that you can be an upstander. He says it's especially important now with survivors getting older and passing away that we never forget. It is our responsibility, I believe, to honor the six million, not only by remembering, but to teach future generations that this should not only can never happen again, this should never happen again. The exhibition is open until the beginning of May and tickets must be purchased in advance. In Manhattan, Emily Lorsch, News 12.